As soon as I saw official images of the Air Jordan 13 Obsidian, I knew that this was probably going to be a must-cop sneaker for me, which sort of surprised me because I'm not the biggest fan of the Air Jordan 13 silhouette. And I'm not trying to say that I hate the 13 or anything like that. It's just not one of my top favorite Air Jordan silhouettes or anything. You know, I do have some. I do buy them here and there. But it's sort of colorway dependent on if I pick up an Air Jordan 13 or not. But when it comes to this Obsidian, this was a sneaker that I did plan on copping on release day if I was able to get it for retail. So when release day came around, I put a claim in on the Nike sneakers app. And your boy actually got a W, which you guys know is few and far between. You're always going to catch way more L's in dubs. So I was pretty happy that I was able to secure this pair for retail. And it just got delivered to me. So in today's video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys this sneaker. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to share my thoughts of it with you and seeing if I'm keeping that same energy I had when I initially wanted the sneaker. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to hit you guys with an on feed. And I got the Air Jordan 13 Obsidian right here. And it does come in this silver box. You do get a baby blue UNC powder blue, whatever you want to call it, jumping in right here on the top of the lid. And then it's just, you know, just a regular 13 box or Air Jordan 14 box. They all pretty much come, you know, all the same way looking like this. Now, the official size tag on this sneaker reads Air Jordan 13 Retro. And it's white, dark powder, blue, multi. And this is a personal pair size 8. And these sneakers retail for $190. And here I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at the size tag. Now inside of the box, as soon as you open it up, you do get this white tissue paper. And we're going to take our first in-hand look, in-person look, at the Air Jordan 13 Obsidian. BAM! Now guys, I'm not going to do like a super long review of these sneakers right here. I'm mainly just going to concentrate on what I think about them now that I have them in hand. And just looking at them, and touching them, and feeling them. These are pretty fire. Now the first thing that stands out to me now that I have the sneaker in hand and I'm touching the materials is down here at the midsole you get this dark blue new buck suede and it's not bad. I mean it could be better. It's not top quality. Could they have done a better job on it? Gave you some better materials? Of course they could. But it's not terrible. And then the leather on it, eh, I mean it's a little stiff. Could that be better too? Yes. But overall, aesthetically, this is a pretty dope sneaker. Um, I really do like the colorway on this a lot. Um, one thing I do not like about it is the white sock liner. That's just something that's going to look dingy and get dirty really, really quickly. But, you know, the contrast of the white, uh, the dark blue, and then you got the, uh, like the UNC, baby blue UNC uh, colorway right there at the bottom and also on the tongue. It really does bring life to the sneaker. I really do like it now that I have it in hand. And I don't really think I regret this purchase at all. Now, when it comes to these Air Jordan 13 Obsidians on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give these a solid seven and a half. I mean, it's a solid sneaker. Definitely a sneaker that I think is very, very wearable. Um, this one's for the community right here. These weren't really hard to get. You know, I know a lot of people caught dubs on these, um, myself included. I was actually able to get three pairs. I got myself a pair. I got my homie a pair and then I got my other friend a pair. And, um, you know, it was pretty easy to get. So, you know, I know a lot of people were actually able to secure these on release day, but this one's for the community. And in my opinion, materials, Aesthetically the way it looks this is definitely a seven and a half for me But let me know down in the comment section below what you think was this a cop? Was this a pass? Are these dope or are these trash comment down below and let me know what you think before we get into the on feed portion of the video I just want to thank each and every single one of you guys for your time Thank you so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. If you could, please hit that like button for me. It really does help to put my videos out in front of more people and helps my channel to grow. And if you're new here or you haven't yet already subscribed and you like sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell. We're on that road to 2,500 subscribers and I would really appreciate it if you would sub up to the channel. Enjoy the on-feed portion of the video, guys. And until next time, peace. Couple thousand in my 
pocket, this pocket chick Rubber bands on my own, this is not for play I put 20 on the crib while you cop a chain uh, I know they hate it or love it hate it love. You know I love when they hate it love when they Last year was living basic nah, nah, nah. Haters on the other side Three up, three between the lines Know I got some maintenance with it Made it through some evil times Late night on some demon time Pour the Sprite, I need a lot I can't lock it, see the lot Free time Brainstorm you can assume with your chains on. Train. I can see none with the lights off. Cap, you been the main one. Coolin' when I got my mains on. Show money, but those aren't the same ones. I've been told you that it was game on. Been winning since I was on game one. Go, go, go. Telling me how to live like you made me. Go dumb and I blame you made me. Money longer than a grown up baby. Get crazy and new Mercedes. Thinking that's 550. 